Hello, 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 everybody here is Talk to Go Wild, again talking about different topics on science. Remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hma.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Go Wild, which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to review today is Harvard Heart brain health a two-way street. The health of the cardiovascular system is linked to the health of the brain and vice versa. For centuries, folklore from every corner of the globe has held that as persons' psychological state can affect their physical health, sometimes suddenly and fatally. Apocryphal tales of death from fry and heart brain abound. From the biblical account of onions and sapphira both killing over lifestyle after being accused of lying to the Holy Spirit, to Romeo and Juliet. Lord Montague recount how his wife grief of my son's exile has stopped her breath. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind you guys that we mostly days are doing these beautiful reviews for the articles that you can also download from the official website from Harvard University. Alright, so I will continue doing a straight away this review. The first modern scientist to explore this phenomenon was Walter Frankfurt Cannon, class of 1900, who was chair of the Department of Psychology at Harvard Medical School. He coined to there five or five in 1915, and in 1942 published a paper in American Anthropologist presenting reports of so-called good to death recount by explorers in South America, Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and the Caribbean since 1500. Cannon reviews several cases in which an apparently healthy Vivian individuals began a language after being accused of misdeed by a powerful tribal leader and died with one to four days. He also know one incident in which shaman came to the bedside of a young man named Rob and said, oops, it's all been a mistake. The relief Cannon rise was also instantaneous that evening Rob was back to work, quite happy again and in full possession of his physical strength. Cannon proposed iconoclastically that these incidents were not the work of dark magic as was supposed, but instead result from the systematic adrenaline complex contributing the blood vessels in response to shocking emotional stress. He pointed out the toward the victim last cause or one might find low blood pressure, rapid and freely pulse and clammy skin, also associated with heart failure. There is no longer any doubt that Cannon was right, our throat and emotions can affect our heart health and what happens to the heart likewise was influence the health of the brain. Solid research now links PTSD and CT depression, Parkinson disease, bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and increased risk of cardiovascular disease, CVD, and studies associate CVD with impaired cognition, with white matter damage, cardiovascular disease, and dementia. According to the Alzheimer's Association, post-mortem studies show that as many as 8 in 10 patients with Alzheimer also have heart problems. These comorbidities don't judge made on an interesting pathology to an integral. The World Health Organization called heart disease number one cause of death worldwide and depression, the single largest contributor of global disability. In the United States alone, chronic disease costs 57 trillion a year, or almost 20 percentage of the national GDP in direct expenses and lost productivity. Both mental health and heart disease make up a large share of that, say Gil Constein, a Harvard Medical School professor of psychiatry and medicine and founder and executive director of the Innovation Center of Sex Difference in Medicine at Massachusetts General Hospital. And when the co 
occur the cause increase even further. This disorder are also a major risk factor of Alzheimer's disease and the Asian brain. And so, if we do not target them early to prevent us coming down the road for our aging population, they could turn our economy. Now you are nervous when you get butterflies in your stomach, but is the brain making the butterflies or are they already there and then you are perceiving? Eight years after Cannon first posted the existence of the brain heart connection, the science remains in the infancy largely because skepticism lingered for decades. In 1985, in the New England Journal of Medicine, then editor Marcia Angel, now a corresponding member of the faculty of the Department of Global Health and Social Medicine in the Black Bunny Institute at Harvard Medical School, wrote an editorial noting that research had not shown a link between psychology and psychology. So she acknowledged that most Americans believe in one. She basically said, wouldn't it be great if this were true? But it's not, say Laura Zumbanski, a behavioral science professor at Harvard T.H. Klein School of Public Health, who has studied the link. You can find arguments like this into the 2000s. Part of the reasons in the historical, it was hard to get research funded, which means the studies weren't very good. It is still under resourced compared with many topics. Terms like cardioneurology, neurocardiology, and psychocardiology all arose in the 1960s to describe aspects of the emerging interdisciplinary field. Yet even today, no major medical body, not the United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the National Institute of Health, or the American Heart Association, lists psychological troubles as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. The tide may be a slow turning though. All three organizations and list address stress and other mental health disorders on their websites. And in 2021, the AHA issue, a scientist statement seen by Kowalski and 13 others affirming that one's mental state can play a role in the heart health. For something to be elevated to the status of risk factor, Kusansky say there has to be a lot of evidence. In the past two decades, the qualify the evidence has become increasingly rigorous and convincing and getting harder to dismiss. The lean also tends to get charged treats from clinicians, in part says Goldstein, because medicine has grown up slow by organ system and separate disease. Although physicians specialize, given all the technological advances in certain files, she notes, it is also important to look at common abilities among organ systems. Understanding your casual pathway is an important first step. The vagus nerve is probably the most researched channel through which the heart and mind talk, say Kowalski. Among the longest nerves in the human body, the vagus controls automatic functions like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure, as well as reflex like cowings and survival behaviors like eating and drinking. The vagus nerve is the bidirectional information highway, says molecular neuroscience Stephen Fairless, a professor of cell biology in the Black Bunny Institute at Harvard Medical School and a Harvard Huge Medical Institute investigator. We 
know that there are sex differences in the development of the brain and body, including the heart beginning in fetal development, says Gonstein, while fetal development is not deterministic. There are effects during this period that can set this stage of health across the lifespan, even though an effect can vary due to the life experience and exposures. A study has shown that men and women have different stress reactions to which affect the brain and the heart. In women, stress can increase lipid imbalance and platelet aggregation and decrease glucose regulation and the flow of blood to the heart, whereas men tend to experience greater spikes and blood pressures, heart rate, and adrenocortical hormone which control the production of cortisol. This is a particularly concerning because 84% of the United States residents who respond to a 2022 survival research organization value penguin report feeling stressed quickly and in the same year the American Psychological Association found that there is the price survival responses considered that stress is overwhelming. Dr. Seriwoski, a Harvard Medical School assistant professor of psychology and director of Massachusetts General Hospital Neurocardia Effects of Stress and Trauma Laboratory, says the research is clear that chronic debilitating stress is more likely to bring about a heart condition. PTSD, for example, is associated with 37% increased CVD events and cardiac specific mortality, according to a meta analysis report in 2021 in JAMA cardiology. When we experience stress, Dr. Selyoski explains, our sympathetic nervous system triggers an immune response that releases cytokines in the blood, which inflame the arteries over time and promote the blood that produces atherosclerosis that makes underlying cause of heart disease. Stress may also be one reason for health iniquity among various populations in the United States. While death rate from CBD have declined significantly in the past 50 years, from 1,054 to 327 per 100,000 people, numerous studies have shown that people of color have increased risk of heart problems and poorer outcomes when they do occur. A lot of people are looking at why. Dr. Kusansky said stress may be one reason, but there are a paradox. Black people, for example, may seem to have more physical health difficulties that they appear to have similar or lower rates of mental health problems than white people, even accounting for other social factors like income or education. So more data is definitely needed to better understand it, that role of stress in health disappears. Stress efforts also differ by sex. Statistics from the National Center for PTSD show that twice or many women as men will have a disorder at some point in their lives. In part, said Dr. Tsiriosky, that's because women experience more interpersonal assaults, which leads to the PTSD more often than other types of experience, like a car accident, for example. Women are more inclined to report symptoms and seek treatment, too, which may contribute to their higher diagnostic rate. Dr. Goldstein explained that this naturalistic window can be used to understand the early origins of disease that may occur later in life. For example, she said, we know that there are developmental origins of disorder of the brain, like depression and of the heart like CBD, and we know that some of these early even fatal origins are shared between the brain and the heart. Understanding these shared rules, Dr. Gonstein said, allow you to target one disorder like depression that onset early than CBD in other potential health prevent the other, adding that CBD typically occurs later than depression. 
but starting fetal and early childhood and death end and how major disorder occur at different periods across the lifespan, Dr. Gosden maintains we can focus our therapeutic earlier and identify early resilience to then attenuate disability or prevent future disease. All right, guys, remember this beautiful article you can download from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. The title is Heart Brain Health are Two Way Street. And this article has been posted by Elizabeth German in Boston, Massachusetts, the best writer. All right, guys, remember you can download this beautiful Dr. Wild podcast from Spotify and from Google Podcasts. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye bye.